Hello, hello, welcome back guys. So Microsoft just reported earnings and we're gonna be taking a look at them, see what actually happened. As the stock price of the company is currently up in the pre-market, or I should say the after hours, uh, as you'll see over here, about 3.4% uh, higher uh, than uh, what it closed at. So what happened here in, the, in its earnings report, which uh, was released uh, just a few minutes ago, actually. So profit pops 27%, uh, that's a net income. That's net income actually increase of 27%, which is uh, very impressive. 27% increase in net income is nothing to sneeze at. Really, really impressive growth here for actual profit for the company as Azure growth accelerates. And frankly, I would potentially expect uh, the stock to be higher on this news, uh, which kind of maybe shows that the stock price may be a little bit overpriced already. And because uh, this kind of increase in net income is really, really impressive. But what happened here in detail, let's take a little bit of a look. Uh, at some point it was up 5%, we'll see what will happen tomorrow. But uh, earnings uh, were about $3 a share, 2.99 versus 2.65. So strong beat here on earnings uh, that, uh, that were expected at least. And revenue of 56.52 compared to 54.5 that was also expected. Now revenue grew 13% year over year in the quarter, which is... Uh, pretty nice as well. Again, remember, these kinds of companies have uh, already are making tremendous revenues. If we take a look at um, uh, Microsoft here, you will see in the financial statements of the company that the revenue they generated is like $200 billion or 170 like a couple of years ago. And 12% out of 211, as you can understand, is almost like $30 billion here. So fantastic uh, increase um, of their uh, top line here for um, Microsoft. Now, intelligent cloud segment, cloud segment produced um, 24.26 billion in revenue, which is up 19% and above the 23.49 billion consensus. So they bid on that as well. And uh, revenue just from Azure uh, jumped 29% during the quarter, faster than the 26% consensus. So consensus was already high here, ex expectations that is, and it actually jumped um, ahead of that um, really, really high expectation as well. So really nice to see here for, uh, for Microsoft, especially if you're a shareholder already. Now, the CEO was quoted saying in the statement that the company is still helping customers use the Microsoft Cloud, which is becoming uh, more, uh, I should say, prevalent among the uh, tech world, I suppose, or not, not only, uh, business world, to get the most value out of the digital spend and driving operating leverage and kind of points to uh, pretty much a lot of companies continuing to uh, go with their cloud solutions you know, putting some uh, uh, burden to Amazon, who has been the leader so far. You see a lot of companies, IBM, Microsoft here, Google, coming up with their own versions of cloud and having high expectations for it. Now, the productivity and business processes a unit posted the 18.5 billion in revenue, again, up 13%. And as you'll, as you'll see over here, the, company's expect the company beat expectations in almost everything. You can kind of see the, the finer details here, the year over year change. Almost everything here is positive, apart like from Windows OEM. OEM. The company reported 4% growth in sales of Windows operating systems as well, which is a market that kind of tends to be uh, a little bit subpar for the most part, but still uh, the company has increased the revenue even there, which is nice. And uh, they completed an acquisition, 68.7 billion, we have talked about it, of uh, Blizzard, and a big one, a huge one actually. And uh, Activision is, uh, isn't incorporated into Microsoft's fiscal first quarter results, as you can understand, but it will affect earnings uh, for the next quarter. So ex executives will likely discuss uh, when providing guidance is something to uh, keep in mind as well. Okay, uh, so the stock price rose uh, quite significantly again in the um, after hours right now. But we kind of want to be taking a little bit of a look at what is going on with the price. And uh, actually, let me take a look at the metrics first, because um, Microsoft, uh, there was a time when it was lower at some point. Like if we take a look at the one year chart, at some point it wasn't that much lower, but it was still lower. Like at some point, like two, over, actually over here, like it was significantly lower, like 214. But for the most part, it has been like 300 over here, 280, something of that sort, not like that low. If you take it a little bit further, like three years, like sort of like two years ago, then the company actually was at some point uh, pretty low and uh, kept rising from that point on uh, onwards. Uh, that was uh, pretty much the pandemic years when at some point it was significantly lower. Now, as it's sitting at 3.30, we have new data coming out because of uh, you know the company's revenue, which we saw it is um, pretty high. 
and uh, the growth there is pretty high as well continues to be really high for a company that's already making tons of money and their net income very very impressive an increase of 27 percent really impressive here so the P ratio of the company even at 330 is not that high right now and um, remember this is going to get even more adjusted as we get the, the data here and um, we account for the new revenues and net income and the price to free cash flow at 41 with outstanding shares uh, going down a little bit now the total liabilities that the company has are basically um, nothing here because they do have a lot of cash at hand it's not a problem for them Revenue growth uh, pretty nice and continuing to do it nicely. Net income growth we saw that already doing very well, so this is going to be significantly higher. Free cash flow growth 54-55%, total equity growth 101% uh, percent over here, so all numbers are positive for the company with little debt as well. And a little bit of a dividend which is not frankly that important, it's uh, really low. And um, the next thing to see is whether this kind of price like 330 is still a potential buy as the stock price is heading higher and now it's probably going to be like 340 tomorrow uh, since we're after hours we are up and so the revenue again they did 12% actually more than last year and um, you will see that um, uh, of course this is a quarter right so it's not a full year but you will see that typically they do something like um, 14% here, that's their, like the most typical one, as you see, like that's the average, about 14% and always only affected at 2030, 23. But it was like um, this quarter, pretty close to what they are typically doing, like 12%. And so I'm going to go for revenue growth, uh, like eight, let's just go eight, 10 and 12 here. 12 may be a little bit um, much actually, it's the high expectation, the high projections anyway. And the net income margin, the, t the company makes really, really high margins, 31, 30, 36. This is fantastic, uh, frankly, really, really high margins. So it's a software company, understandably. So it's mostly about software, cloud and all that. And so uh, their margins are high. And so I will go 30 here and um, 30, let's go, actually, let's go a little bit lower, 28, 30 and 32. Free cash flow margin, probably about 80% is what they typically do, 80, 90 and 100. Typically more like 80 and 90. I, let me go 80, 85 and 90 here. An annual return of 13% is what we are going to ask for. And um, when I hit calculate with these numbers, you will see that this is, all, this is pointing to the stock price uh, being significantly elevated right now. When it was near 150, it was a, a much better bargain, obviously. Right now at 330 is uh, expensive. Like um, there's no other way to go about it. There's no other way to go about it. It is expensive. And when you compare it to the free cash flows, even accounting for pretty, pretty high revenue growth, actually in continuation, like 12% 12, 12 for five years, that's pretty high. And um, even for these numbers and the 32% uh, margin, I think a margin, which could easily happen, we're still looking at uh, 180 bucks and currently it's sitting at 330. So while at some point it may have been a more interesting case, much more interesting case when it was like 200, right now, even after the, this quarter, it is expensive. Um, there's no other way to say it. And maybe that's one of the reasons why the company hasn't achieved the much increase uh, after hours so far even though the results are frankly really, really nice. It's already qu quite elevated here. And so it is expensive. So it's just not the way that I would want to be buying a stock at. Uh, it's, um, it would have to be at least like close to 200 and potentially even less. If it was 200, there was a case to make for it because you know the company has like fantastic margins, no debt, the usual good stuff. Pretty, pretty nice growth already, um, still even though it's a huge company. And so there would be a case there. But right now, at 3.30, we're kind of far. So I would like to have a, a steep drop before potentially taking a look at uh, Microsoft again and adding it to my portfolio, my new. So yeah, that's what I think about Microsoft. Uh, tell me what you think. The earnings were definitely impressive here. So do tell me what you think. We don't. I don't think we have guidance yet. Maybe this is not out yet. Or uh, yeah, maybe this will have to be revised at some point. Who knows? Oh, there will be, yeah, it will be discussed here on the conference call. Okay, so we're waiting on it. This may affect it significantly, actually. So it wouldn't be surprising to see the stock price going down or the stock price uh, being even higher after the guidance is out because it's very important. But do tell me what you think about Microsoft and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now and uh, stay here because there's going to be a video about Google too. Bye-bye.